Well, I, I haven't been here very long. Like, I literally, because of my teaching schedule, I didn't want to miss any classes this year. So I literally taught and came straight to the airport and flew right here and I had a, a flight delay. Therefore, I caught the Solandis for Fuses party. And then I went to the screening uh, competition for today and came straight to the picnic. But so far, uh, what I, the work I saw was amazing, but my favorite thing by far, and this is kind of a more general thing, is seeing old friends and seeing everybody again. And a typical work day, well, it depends on which job I'm doing. If I'm animating, it involves me getting up in the morning and having a cup of coffee. And then I have another cup of coffee. And then I follow up on some emails and then I gradually get into, okay, what do I want to accomplish today? And I set up my goals for the day and then I, I, I get to work. Sometimes it'll be like in the morning, I might have to do some sketches and send it to a client to be approved. And then if they get approved before the end of the day, then I'll start working on the next stage. It's really fun. For uh, teaching, um, I basically, I teach at two in the afternoon. I, sometimes I wake up in the morning, I have a cup of coffee, <laughs> again with the coffee. And then I uh, sit and uh, work on my lesson plan for the day, make sure I have everything I need. And then I make my way into the city, take the long train ride into the city and teach my three hour class. Um, I have an office now, so I get to go in and sit in my office, maybe have a cup of coffee, another one. <laughs> and, um, and then it's also, it's really rewarding. I just have such a great time when I teach. And then I'm also a grad student, so I'm getting my MFA in visual narrative, which is interdisciplinary program in, uh, you know, illustrate, it could be illustration, it could be animation, it could be performance art, as long as you tell a story. So I'm working on that too, and I'm currently working on a graphic novel. And that's sort of like, a lot of late nights involved there. <laughs> oh yeah, I can imagine. Um, come to the festival often, <laughs> especially if you wanna. And also go to local festivals in your area. Students come up to me all the time and say, say, Professor, like, how do I find work? Do you have any work? And I said, did you go to the last three animation industry events that I invited you to? They're like, no. I'm like, this is how you get uh, into people's brain by showing up to industry events. Even if you have a nice conversation with someone and give them your card, you never know the next day they might be like, hey, I met so-and-so and they told me that they do, do design backgrounds. I need a background. You just never know. Just, in, in, and I mean, I'm not saying like every single time you go to an event, you're gonna get a job as a direct result of going to the event. That's. I, I would never ever promise that to anyone, but just being visible, being in the scene is, uh, helps. And the other thing, do not let whether you have a job in a studio or not define you. You're still an animator. Whether you work in a studio or not does not define you. I, some of the early work I did, I, it's funny, like I, that was like my world back then when I first got my start and now it's like some of the early places, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but I've done so much since then. I barely remember a lot of the stuff I did because what I do remember is what I did, especially my own stuff. So having the experience of working in a studio is great, but don't let that define you. You're an animator, no matter what. You have the tools that I did not have. You can pick up a laptop and have Toon Boom and animate something from start to finish right there in your studio. When I was, and animate, when I just graduated from RISD, uh, as a young animator starting in the field, if you wanted to do a three minute short, you had to develop 400 feet of film. You had to get a work print made. You had to get a negative made. And that's like tens of thousands of dollars just for a three minute short. So you have so much more technology at your hands now. So take advantage. It really is. And um, I follow up with people. That's the other advice. If you go to a party and you meet someone, Follow up with them and don't say, don't write to them and say, hey, where's my job? But you could write to them and say, it was wonderful chatting with you. You might want to mention something about the conversation you had. It was wonderful chatting with you about the fact that we both share a love of horses at the in this, at the uh, Solanda Fuses party. Uh, and um, here's my reel and I'd love to stay in touch.